Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Yes, you're welcome to Parenting on the Go. My name is Cherry. If you're just meeting me for the first time on this channel, I talk about parenting, motherhood, lifestyle. I sometimes do vlogs and share recipes. So if it's something you're interested in, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and leave a nice comment below. Okay, guys, so today's video is about texturizer. There was a video I did on how I used the texturizer on my son's hair. Truthfully, it worked. Um, his, his hair became really soft, so we can now comb it and everything. So today, I want to do a honest review on using the texturizer. What I think, so if you haven't used the texturizer or you're considering using it, then this is something you need to know. But first of all, I want to say a big thank you to my new subscribers. I see how you guys just come in one after the other. My subscribers are going up and I really want to appreciate you guys for coming to be a part of my family. I really do not know what videos you guys loved that you watched that made you hit the subscribe button. But whatever that video is, just let me know. This time on my channel, I'm basically just putting out content that my subscribers would want to see yes i basically do sit down videos but this period i just want to do what my subscribers want so whatever video suggestions i have gotten so far i have the videos piled up it's just to upload them so for my new subscribers please just let me know what video you like or you think about the channel i'd really like to get a review from you and to my old subscribers thank you so much for sticking with me all this while okay so with that being said let's go straight into this video so i need i need to show you guys my son's hair so you guys can understand what i'm talking about um <laughs> i'm going to cut the hair today i'm going to cut the hair today but i just wanted to do a review and tell you guys why i'm cutting his hair all right so let me get into it okay say hello 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 hello, hello. <laughs> it's okay it's okay so this is my son and his name is Brenna. so this is his hair then i'll go closer so they can see so that's his hair Mm -hmm. So, um, <clears throat> I'm cutting off the hair today. We actually, um, texturized the hair to bring it up so it can, you know, be soft. So we can weave it or do whatever we want to do with the hair. But right now, wait, what did you rub on your face? Esso. <laughs> I don't know what you did. Oh, yeah. He's crying. He's crying. He doesn't... So, guys. <laughs> My son wants to be in the video. He's been crying that he wants to be here, but I don't need a distraction because I have things to do. So I just want to quickly do this video. So I'm cutting his hair because first, I don't know for adults. I don't know, but I'm using my son's hair as a case study here. And I don't know how long you give texturizers to wear off before your hair returns back to normal. About a month now, I applied a texturizer on his hair. It was before his birthday. That was um, June. More than a month. More than a month. And the truth is, his hair didn't return back to normal. <laughs> um, the hair is not relaxed. It doesn't look like a relaxed hair. It actually looks like a natural hair. But you see, the texture of the hair, you know, his hair used to be very coily and soft but now it's like sharp like very dry and sharp no matter how much moisturizer you apply on it and i'm just tired of it i didn't, I didn't like what it looks like so maybe it's different for adults maybe it's my son's hair texture maybe it's because he's a child i don't know but my conclusion of it is if you have you know, like you don't want to continuously make your child's hair. You want to um, carry the hair. It's just something you want to carry and you don't want any, you want the hair to return back to normal fast. Then I don't think you should try it because I didn't like it. The, the texturizer actually came with its own neutralizing shampoo and conditioner, which is supposed to neutralize the texturizer. And I have consistently used the shampoo and conditioner. 
and it even it just got exhausted but still i didn't really get what i wanted okay so it's just it's just my honest review i don't know i don't know what your experience are i don't know what your experiences are but personally i don't think it's something i want to do again i don't think i want to try it on my daughter's hair hey <laughs> i won't try it on my daughter's hair but another thing i would also say is um it could be the texturizer i used like i said in the video i wasn't sure of the best texturizer in the market i just went to the market and i picked the one i liked so it could be that it has to do with the type of texturizer you use so you might want to find out the best texturizer in the market which i didn't do i just picked any one that i like because to me texturizer is texturizer <laughs> but i got the results of course my son's hair was very coily long and soft but when everything was done i don't like how the hair is right now and i just have to cut it and it's sad it's so sad so this is a video request from one of my subscribers yeah she watched the video and she wanted to know the result or what i think about it so i hope this video is helpful and thank you so much guys for watching i'll see you in my next video please don't forget to like and subscribe please subscribe bye, bye.